Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Today I want to show you guys a pretty useful tool that I found. It's called the Ultimate Plugin Tool. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Basically, all you have to do is go to this page, click on this, just let it download, go ahead and install it. And when it opens, it'll pop up with this screen right here. Basically, what this tool can do is it can find duplicate VST plugins. So say you have it installed multiple times in multiple different directories, you can click on this, click next, and you can get rid of some of those. That way it's not taking up a bunch of space in your computer. And it's also really geared towards like native instrument stuff. You can manage installed native instrument products. You can arrange the libraries and contact. It also has an option to fix thumbnails and machine and complete control. But pretty much the thing that I find most useful about it and pretty much the only thing that I use it for is this reload plugin content. Basically what this does, if I click next, say your plugin installs and for some reason it installs to your C drive. Most plugins will let you choose where you want to install it. Uh, some don't. For instance, the thing that I recently had a problem with is Waves. They install all their plugins through Wave Central, and Wave Central does not allow you to choose where you want to install the plugin at, at least not the current version. So what you can do there is you can click on Browse right here, choose the location where the plugin is installed at, and then you can choose a new location. Basically what it does is it makes a copy of that plugin in your new location so that way you're... And basically the reason why you would want to use this is say if you wanted to install it on a different hard drive, but obviously you can't because Wave Central won't allow you to, or any other plugin for that matter. But you want all of your VSTs in one place because most DAWs will only allow you to choose one plugin folder and have all of your plugins underneath of that. I know that's the case with Ableton at least. But if you go ahead and hit next here, it'll go ahead and do it for you. Everything works fine. I've tried it with a few different plugins. And yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about this cool thing that I found. And if anybody else is having problems like I was with the Wave stuff, this is a great way to fix it. But other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time.